Hey, uh, it's Charlotte Ayton, as you uh, may have guessed from uh, the video. And I think there's something down in the corner to one of these one of these corners. I noticed the Zoom's doing something new, still using Zoom to record. Anyway, um, so this is a bit of a, a life update video and also a notification that I'm trying out some new support modalities that I've uh, not experimented with before. So I'll try to keep this short, but um, I thought I'd explain what's going on with me a bit. Um, I've uh, got this uh, spider here uh, sort of creeping over on me for emotional support. So I, I hope that that'll be helpful. Um, so uh, as you may know, if you've been following me on YouTube or on Mastodon, um, I've been at the University of Denver doing my first postdoc for the last couple of years uh, with Michael Kenyon. And that's um, that's been really awesome. Um, definitely look out for our paper soon. Should be really cool. Um, and I'm also now uh, very excited to be um, moving to CU Boulder, uh, where I'll be doing a second postdoc with Keith Kearns, and I'm also, you know, really excited for that too. Um, the thing is, uh, this area of the country is very expensive, um, and uh, so is going to um, places like uh, some of you probably know. I went to the University of Cambridge recently. Um, among other places, I was at the University of Rochester last summer, and uh, you know, I've I've had uh, you know I've had great support from some of those universities um, for travel expenses, uh, getting reimbursed for things, um, but it's it's just it's it's quite expensive, and um, I'm a little over a month away from uh, being unable to cover my basic living expenses. I uh, haven't done really a detailed calculation because it's pretty stressful, but I, I, you know, it's not hard for me to see that, uh, you know, it's about to hit the fan a little bit for me. And so, um, you know, so I figured I would try out some of these uh, kind of like donation tipping style platforms and um, seeing what kind of traction I can get. Uh, so I'm trying two of them to start off with. One is buymeacoffee.com and the other is Kofi, Co Kofi, I, I, I think maybe Kofi. It's like K O F I. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like if it's like co-finance or like if it's like coffee. I don't know. But anyway, I signed up for it, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can try to cover the gap until CU Boulder starts paying me in the fall. Um, I have, uh, I have tried other options for financial support. Um, but I just can't keep waiting to see if something else is going to pan out. I mean, if it does, great, but I, I can't wait any longer. It's it's really uh, crunch time. And so, um, yeah, I'm the sole breadwinner for my partner and I and our dog. And my, um, my partner uh, is currently being assessed for autism and has some mental health stuff. And I'm happy to support them during this time. Um, you know, it means a lot to me to be able to do that. Um, for my part, I'm not diagnosed with anything and, um, yeah, but I do tend to start a lot of things at once. Um, I, I cycle through a few intense interests over and over again for like years and years on end. And, um, I'm not going to try to like, you know, diagnose myself with anything, but, you know, I do, I do finish a lot of things as you can see, you know, you probably are you know familiar with me? You know I've I've got a lot of stuff going on, and and you know and a lot of a lot of uh, finished products do come out. Um, so uh, you know I've been saying that if I don't get a tenure track job after my second postdoc, that you know I'll go into industry and I'll cry into my money. Um, but what I'm realizing is that although I've done consulting work in the past, like I'm capable of doing this stuff. I don't really think that my productivity long term is going to be the same outside of an academic setting. Um, I, I really think I need that flexibility, and that's the best way for me to, you know, um, make a living and and contribute to society and and all of that. So, um, so I'm really determined to stay in academia, um, doing research, and so, um, you know, maybe for a little more background, I started taking college courses when I was twelve. Um, and I've basically spent my whole life at universities that I can't afford. Um, it's just that, uh, I'm a professor now instead, um, of being some precocious kid, uh, whose parents also couldn't afford the university. And, uh, 
you know, now I'm 30 and I, I basically don't know anything else. Like this is me, this is what I do. And so, uh, you know, I know that times are really hard for a lot of people right now. Um, but if you're in a position where you can donate something, you know, five, 10 bucks, whatever you can, um, that would, you know, mean the world. And um, if you can't do that, if you could share and just let people know that, you know, I exist, um, that would that would be really awesome. Uh, I really, I know that the work I'm doing is important and I'll try not to go on too much in this video, uh, but um, I, I'm just, the bottom line is that I'm, I'm, in the end, I'm losing money and I'm losing research time when I just take a side job to make the ends meet. And it's not that those industry connections aren't helpful. It's not that, you know, getting a really good firsthand picture of where my mathematics fits into the world at large isn't helpful. It is. But at the moment, I have so many, so many projects that are at a really mature stage that I should really just focus on doing, doing what it is that I do best and doing research. Uh, and I think that's the best option for uh, my family is for me to just focus on doing math so I can get a tenure track job and keep at it. Um, but it's really hard because I don't come from a wealthy family and, and I don't have a really, I don't have a, I don't have a support network that that's really able to carry me over this, this time that I'm facing. Um, and so I, I also have some scruples about where money comes from which is making this more difficult. Um, so like, just to give an example, uh, as far as I know, I, I'm the only person who has some kind of categorical or functorial approach to neural nets, uh, who is not uh, currently funded by uh, US defense agencies, oil companies, or venture capitalists. Um, I mean, I'm not judging people who have made different choices, uh, you know, for their families, you know, for themselves, like we all, you know, we all need to survive, but um, I, I'm really committed to supporting myself in a way that's, that's safe for me and, and my family and, and uh, is ethical as well. And so um, I'm pretty serious about this. Uh, I have turned down invitations um, that seemed quite promising to apply for tenure track positions, uh, for jobs with intelligence agencies uh, because of, you know, safety concerns. I mean, the academic things weren't, you know, as much of an ethical concern, but, but still. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, with, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, just getting a little flustered. Um, with your help, I can continue to share my research and my software with as many people as possible. Um, I still believe, even despite everything that's happened, I still believe that math and technology can help us to all live better lives, not just a select few people. Um, so, you know, if you believe in this too, and um, you believe in me, please check out the links below. Uh, your contribution can really help to make this, this lifelong dream of mine a reality. Um, thank you.